Jesus. There's no one, there's no one like He. There's no one, there's no one like Jesus. There we never been any like Him. There is no one. No one. of kings and the lord of lords let us begin to exalt the ancient of days the i am that i am we know him to be the holy one of israel the first and the last he's the sovereign god of the universe the many-breasted god that owns the cattle on a thousand hills let us begin to thank him for life for health for strength let us thank him for his goodness and his mercy towards us thank him for the salvation of your soul but for jesus we wouldn't be here this morning 
bow to your adoration and say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for the sacrifice at Calvary that has made me your own, that has brought me into your presence, and that has made me your child. For in Jesus' name, we have given thanks. We're going into a time of intercession now, and the first thing I'd like us to intercede about is our personal lives. Because of Easter, we are God's children. But it's just the beginning. There's a depth of knowing God that transforms us, that changes us, and makes us a phenomenon on the surface of the earth. But the only way to achieve that is with the help of the Holy Spirit. Acts 1 8 tells us that on that day of Pentecost, the Holy Ghost came down as cloven tongues of fire upon their lives. So I'd like us to raise up our voices this morning and say, Father, incubate my life with your fire. Talk to him this day. You must not go home the way you came. Father, incubate my life with your fire. Transform me, change me, make me into that person that you created me to be. I can't hear your voices. The roof should be moving. Father, incubate my life with your fire. Let your fire fall upon the altar of my life this morning. Lord of heaven and earth, transform me. Change me. Make me into that person you created me to be. And I know it is not possible without the power of the Holy Spirit. If we know that the shadow of Peter, a man that was afraid and ran away before the crucifixion, Peter came back and preached a sermon that 3,000 souls were saved. What is it that our God cannot do? Talk to him this morning and say, Father, I do not want to remain the same. I do not want to come to this earth and just go like that. Father, let your fire fall upon my life. Incubate my life with your fire. Transform me and change me. Make me to that person you created me to be. That I may fulfill my purpose here on the surface of the earth. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Now we're going to pray for the church. And the church is made up of you and me. And it is when we have been filled with the fire of God that we can achieve the purposes of God on earth. Jesus said, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. So begin to talk to them and say, Father, cause me to fit into your plans for the church. Even in this end time, Father, cause me to fit into your plans for the church. That the church can go forth and win the souls that must be won. In the name of Jesus, talk to God. This is the let's go our fishing time. If you do not depopulate the kingdom of darkness, the enemy will build a battle. But we thank God because all power in heaven and earth has been given unto Jesus. And at his name, every knee shall bow. So talk to God and say, Father, cause my life to fit into your plans for the church. Take the church and cause it to do that which it must do at this time. I am a member of LifeGate Parish. What LifeGate is supposed to do in this area? What LifeGate is supposed to do at this time? Cause us to go forth in your power and your majesty. Cause us to go and do that which you want us to achieve at this time. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. We all know that we live in perilous times. <laughs> but God is a good God. He said his grace is sufficient for us. Which means that no matter the circumstances and the situations we come across, we are more than conquerors. So if you are a conqueror this day, talk to God and say, Father, because I am more than a conqueror, we, your will will prevail on this earth. We will go forth in your majesty. We will go forth in your power. We will go forth as your battle axis, oh God, to achieve your plans and purposes at this time. Where the world is concerned, Father, the enemy will not win the battle. Only you, your counsel shall stand. And it is your wish that every man comes to know you. So therefore, Lord, the church will go forth into the world and we shall achieve your plans and purposes to the honor and glory of your most holy name. For in Jesus' mighty and precious name, we have prayed. Our God is the God who walks with plans. He walks with covenants. Talk to God and say, Father, your covenant where the redeemed Christian church of God is concerned. Cause it to continue to manifest. Talk to God. Father, your, your plan for the RCCG, cause it to continue to manifest. To the honor and glory of your name. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Our Father, we bless you, ancient of days. We exalt you because you are a good God. Jeremiah 29, 11 assures us that your thoughts towards us are thoughts of good and not of evil. To give us an expected end, a hope and a future. We therefore know that where our lives are concerned, where the church is concerned, and where the world is concerned, only your counsel shall stand. 
We therefore know that we go forth in your power and in your might, enveloped with the power of the Holy Spirit, to achieve your purposes here on the surface of the earth. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Hallelujah. Amen. We shall remain standing Amen. as we take our Papa family anthem. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. just give us a little security tip and um, awareness of um, the church surrounding. Now, first of all, when alighting from a vehicle or crossing the road, please watch both sides of the road for commercial motorcyclists flying one way. For those of us that use commercial vehicles, when you alight on the other side of the road, we observe that most of the times, um, commercial motorcyclists from ShopRite and other places, they go through at the front of our church. So please, while you are crossing the road, make sure you watch very well so as to avoid incidents of being hit by motorcyclists. Then at the entrance of the church, the first thing we do is that when we get to the church, you check your temperature, you see uh, people, those wearing this kind of my vest, we check your temperature, then uh, you wash your hands. We have um, 
water points here where you wash your hands with soap and water. Then before you enter, ushers are there to sanitize your hands. And we always ensure that we wear our face mask. Then the adult worship centers, we have the main auditorium, the one we are seated now. Those are up there, the gallery. Just uh, below us, we have the level one, which is the ground floor. Then uh, we have the boulevard on my right. Then we have the pavilion also on the other side. Then when we have spillover, we usually use the canopy. So um, just the way I named them, that's the way the church gets filled up. Then for the children, we have um, the children's church that's behind this main auditorium behind. That's the leaders' academy. So ages zero to one, yes, you stay with your parents. Um, ages one to five, they use the ground floor. Ages six to 11, they use the first floor of the leaders' church. Then ages 12 to 19, which is the teens' church, they use the second floor. Breastfeeding mother, if you are here, you are a breastfeeding mother, we have a room for you. In the gallery, there's a room there that you can breastfeed your babies. Then please, when you drop off your children at the children's church, for those that uh, require tagging, make sure that you register them. There are people there at the canopy there, so make sure they are duly registered and you tag them. They'll give you a matching tag. For instance, if they place number one on your child, you should make sure the one will choose the number one. Then when you are going for pickup, you present that tag, otherwise they will not give you your child. Amen. Praise the Lord. <laughs> so ensure that your windows are wound up and doors properly locked. When you park at the car park, we usually see a lot of people, they just hurry and leave the car. Please make sure your windows are properly wound up, they lock your cars very well. The way you are using the staircase, make sure you watch your steps when climbing or descending the staircase. Um, then, uh, when you are leaving the church, there are two major exit points. Depending on how the usher are going to direct you, there's one here just by my right. There's, there's one other door at the back, so you must not crowd yourself towards one door. So the ushers are going to direct you. Those that are in the gallery, they are going to direct you to you are going to come down the staircase. So make sure you are orderly when you are leaving the church. Then please do not leave any of your bags or purse unattended to. This is church, but we know even in the, in the house of God, people might come to do other things. So please, and do not plug your phone. We don't allow phones to be plugged. Please make sure you are always with your phones at all times. Though we have CCTV cameras uh, stationed in strategic places and we do live monitoring, and of course, we have some trained security personnel on duty, so we are ready for any eventuality. Amen. Then there's a back gate. For those of us that are coming from United States, there's a back gate here, so you must not go out through the main gates. We have um, three major gates for those that are driving. The main gate, there's an exit gate at the there. Then for those that are from United States, you can just go, if you come out from, from now, there's a gate this way, so you can come in from there, and you can also go out through there. And then we have... Um, three positions of toilet, three major positions. In the Leaders Academy, the children, they have theirs behind this building. Then for the adults, if you go down the staircase this way, just go around the building, just navigate to your left. The toilets are just down, that's behind this main door at the back. So you can access the toilet through this staircase here, the staircase at the back. Amen. Then our order of services normally, we start with workers meeting by 7.30 a.m. in the morning. Our first service is 8 a.m. in the morning, then Sunday school, 9 a.m., second service, 9.30. Then um, for every first Sunday of the morning, we usually have only communion services here in the church by 6 p.m. Otherwise, we have house fellowship every evening by 5 or 5.30, depending on the center. So make sure you avail yourself of the opportunity to attend any of them. Then Wednesdays, we usually have our midweek services. Every Sunday, we have what we call the food bank, where we give out food to those that are not really sure if it's square me at the end of the service. So every Sunday, if you are in that category, we pray that God will deliver you from there. But we take care of that every Sunday. There's a place where we call the canteen there. If you just go out on the extreme left over there, then um, by the grace of God, we see that we don't just take care of our spiritual needs, but we also make sure we take care of our medical needs, our psychological needs, emotional, mental, and safety needs. So also, we also have medical checks that we do. The hall below this place, that's uh, level one. So that's the place that we use for our medical checks. So if we need more information about the church and activities, please ask any of the ushers and you'll be duly informed. God bless us in Jesus' name. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. It's 
anybody excited that you have a new hope? Are we excited that we have a new hope? Christ is risen. The tomb is empty. We have a new hope. We have victory. We have strength. We can sing and cry, Abba, Father. We are excited because Christ has given us the ultimate victory. And in the light of that, we are going to be taking our first offering. And while we package that offering, I'll quickly read Psalm 96 verse, from verse 7. I will read Psalm 96 from verse 7. And it says, Give to the Lord, O families of the people. Give to the Lord glory and strength. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come into his court. Oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of his holiness. Tremble before him all the earth. That's the word of the Lord for us this morning. As we sing praises to his name, the Lord said we should bring an offering unto him. I want you to package a befitting offering. A celebration offering. An offering to show that God, I am excited and I'm glad that I have a living hope in you. The ushers will go with a pouch round and take the offering. I want you to transfer. If you're here with um, uh, you, 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 you uh, the way we normally do our things, we can transfer to the account details that will be displayed on the screen right now. This is our first offering. And the ushers will go around with a pouch. Please package something befitting unto the Lord as the choir leads us. Please let's all rise as we take our offering. Let somebody shout hallelujah! You are God, you are not just people, you are not just you are a great God, you are I'm not going to 
So that we we'll get the full numbers. So our offering account number is Zenith Bank account number 1017-046320. I read again, Zenith Bank offering account number 1017046320. Let us pray. Father, we want to say thank you. Lord, we appreciate you because you are the giver of good gifts. You are the giver of good things. You are the one that blesses us. You are the one that has given us a living hope. You are the one, oh God, that has lifted up lifted us up. You have given us, O oh God, a new name. Father, we bless your name. That we thank you, O oh God, from the bounties that you have blessed us, that we have presented this. We ask, O oh King of glory, that it will be pleasing before you, to be pleasing to your sight in the name of Jesus. We ask that you will receive it, O oh God. It will be a sweet-smelling server before you in the name of Jesus. And I ask, O oh God, that according to your word, that our bands will be full to overflowing to the glory of your name in the name of Jesus. All the nations of the earth will call us blessed. To the glory of your name, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We shall be taking our in for this morning service. Christ the Lord is risen today. Hallelujah.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It's time now for the word for you. Because as the message goes forth, the word for Mr. A may be different from Mrs. B. I'm glad everybody's attentive. Because as I sat there, I was hearing so many people talking, talking. I said, I hope when the word is going forth, I'll be able to hear clearly. Our guest minister this morning was supposed to be at the headquarters. But when we learned that the content of the will be here, we had to bring him here. So I think this price is just blessed. And we don't want to take it for granted at all. I'm not going to miss it. And I'm serious. It's not just a matter of speaking. I am serious. Because there's a word I need to receive today. To hold on to. To run with. That is designed to change my situation. I am not going to miss it. Amen. Praise the Lord. So maybe there's no... You can't see properly, whatever. It doesn't matter. At least you can jot down the word for yourself. It's time for the word. I've been under the ministration of our father, the evangelist, the evangelist pastor, Shola Adiei, many times, many times. And for me, one thing I have discovered is that as he's speaking, ministering, it may appear that he's just talking. He's always dropping a word that he's my very, 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 my need, my situation. So I jot that word down. That's why I have my iPad, but I have my notebook as well. When that word that hits the issue comes, I'm going to write that one separately. I'm going to go back home because the enemy will challenge. He'll still challenge you. I mean, you are all well dressed. It's Easter. We've sang. But what's the point? If all I've come here for is a ceremony, something must happen. There'll be like daddy sent to us, that is going to do something irreversible permanently in our lives today in the name of Jesus. So please tell your neighbor, it's not the time for him or her to notice something and whisper into your ears. Just tell him, for the next 50 minutes or so, please let me just concentrate. Tell your organs, it's not the time to go to the toilet. I'm telling you, it's not the time. <laughs> For the restroom to call you, it's not the time at all. I know there's a word for me. That's why I have my notebook here for that word. It's actually my honor, my privilege to welcome you, sir. It's always a blessing for me whenever you minister the word. We don't take it lightly at all. We appreciate you, sir. Please give our regards to mommy, your darling wife and the whole family. You're welcome again in Jesus' name. Let's clap. Advance by faith for what God is going to do into you, for you today through the word, through the word, through the word, through the word. The word is Jesus. The word is for you, it's for me. Hallelujah. It's not just preaching. It's not just going, everybody can preach. But to hit the word that will hit my, my situation takes the Holy Spirit. I welcome to the altar now, Pastor Shola Adiyeye. Thank you very much, sir, for honoring our invitation every time we call upon you. Thank you, sir. Amen. I say amen. amen. The devil likes it or not. You are returning home with your miracles in your hands. Amen. You believe it or not, to, I don't care. But one thing is settled. Heaven is ready. Not only to bless you, but to increase you. Amen. On every side, you are going to be increased. Amen. To the glory of God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. And no enemy shall usurp your blessings. Amen. You will never be put to shame. Amen. I say no more embarrassment for you. Amen. Hallelujah. 
All the glory must be to the Lord. For he is worthy of our praise. praise. Sing no man on earth. No man nor none should give glory. All the glory. Receive all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for this meeting. We are gathered unto you, and we therefore trust you that you will do that which only you can do. We therefore dedicate this service unto you one more time. Take absolute control. Be thou glorified. We ask of you that you will do great miracles in this service. Souls shall be saved. The sick shall be healed. Amen. Miraculous blessings will be distributed. Amen. No enemy will hinder us in any way. Amen. Father, we thank you. For our joy shall be full. Amen. To the glory of God the Father, Amen. God the Son, Amen. God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. And the church will say louder. Amen. Please, you may be seated. I bring greetings to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let me appreciate uh, my dear sister, who incidentally bears the same name with me, except that she has not paid that. Uh, uh, all right. I'm sure you, she will want, she's a preacher, you know. I'm sure she want to see that Jesus has paid it all. Hallelujah. But let it be known to you that she's a woman of God I celebrate so much. Thank God for the grace of God upon her life. I remember some times ago, I think about two years ago now or thereabout, when I was privileged to preach in her headquarter. You know, incidentally, before then, it belonged, I was there last. And when I got there this time around, I saw what I didn't see anywhere. I told her that day that though I've been to different parishes of the, of the church all over the world, that what I saw, that I never saw it in some of those places. Sister Shola, I want to thank God for your life one more time. The body of Christ is greatly proud of you. And we trust God that it will see you through. You will finish well. You will finish strong. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. To God be all the glory for your life. Similarly, let me appreciate all my other colleagues in the house. All the pastors, all the assistant pastors, deacons and deaconesses. All ordained ministers, all unordained. All the men and the women, the young and the old. I even salute the children. I appreciate the babies. Including the babies in the womb. You are greatly appreciated. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This morning is laid on our hearts to share a message titled New Hope in Christ. New Hope in Christ. New Hope, you may say, yes, the Holy Spirit, you know, is part on my heart that we should also add in Christ. So it's new hope in who? Hallelujah. We have new hope in Christ. And that is to say that when you say that, I mean, new hope, it implies that there was an old hope. And when you go through scriptures, you will see all manner of things that will make you to conclude that truly there was an old hope. But things had changed. Jesus had put in place a change that has brought about to you and I a new hope. And that's why I'm cocksure our tomorrow shall be great. I say our tomorrow shall be all right. Listen to me, you will never weep anymore. And we shall not mourn over you in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not mourn over any one of yours in the name of Jesus. Because Jesus has done it all. Now let's turn our Bibles to Ezekiel chapter 18. Ezekiel chapter 18. I read those verse 4 there. Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 4. Look at what the word of God says. That behold, all souls are mine. As the soul of the father, so also the soul of the son is mine. But there is a concluding part of it. There we say, the soul that sin it, it shall do what? It shall die. That is, I mean, that is to say there was a particular decision that had been taken before now. And that summarizes the old hope I was talking to you. That's to tell you and I that we were doomed to be destroyed eternally. We had been condemned before now. But somebody came. He is the Lord of Lords. He is the King of Kings. The Rose of Sharon. The Lily of the Valley. He put the devil to shame. He took the victory from him. He took all that he has stolen from you. He took them back from the devil. And he has decided to give you all your blessings. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a miracle with your names attached. I said there is a blessing with your names attached. Yeah, heaven divinely customized some blessings just for you. And that's why I've been sent into the house this morning. And I believe that by the grace of God, by divine enablement, you are receiving yours. I say you are receiving yours. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Enough is enough of all the tricks of the enemy. Enough is enough of all the deceits. Enough is enough of all the, all the you know, all the pranks the enemy had been trying to play. You remember when we, the message was about to start. You know, since morning, the light has been flowing, but suddenly, just shortly before the war, you saw what happened. The engineers, I'm sure they will have been sweating. Engineers, I release upon you grace. Yes. Blessings untold. Yes. Oh, special anointing. Yes. Grace to be heard and never detail. Receive in the name of Jesus Christ. For putting the devil to shame over this service. Ah, engineers, I say receive blessings and new. And for the choir who never gave up, I release upon you fresh grace, fresh auction to function. Receive in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Oh, I have a witness within me that this is a victory service. Hey, hey, this is a victory service. You will soon see. You will have reasons to praise God today. You will, you will soon notice that you will have reasons to remember this day for good forever. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It is not my doing. It is not my saying. It is the inspiration of the Holy Ghost. Oh my God. I congratulate you ladies and gentlemen. I congratulate you. I congratulate you. So, as I was saying, there was a hope. But the Lord arose. He came on board to change 
the situation, to turn things around, but all in your favor. <laughs> That's to say that heaven is mindful of you. Don't you know, he says, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. The thought of peace, not of evil, for a particular reason. He said to give you not just an expected end, a new hope, a new beginning. Oh, a new joy. That's why I told you there is a miracle, ladies and gentlemen, this day, with your names attached. The van they customized. The angels of the Lord, they are in the house to hand deliver your blessings. Oh, you've been waiting, you've been trusting. But don't forget, it's been written that don't weep in tarries for a night. Joy cometh in the morning. Your morning of joy is come. Your season of victory is now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I don't care what the enemy had done, but the devil is a liar. The father of it. You will see. And that's this, this service will be divided sharply into two sessions. After, you know, souls will have given their lives to Christ, their sin in you will have been settled. There will be a short, brief, I mean, very brief miracle session. That's what the Lord laid on my heart. The Lord specifically spoke to me that many have been coming, putting, let's go fishing together. Attending, let's go fishing, supporting all the efforts that this day they must be compensated. They must be compensated. That is to say, you are inclusive in the plan and purpose and pursuit of the Most High God. That's why I was sure that there is a miracle with your names attached. Come on, receive it with a louder amen. amen. Hallelujah. Now, I told you there is a new hope. There is a new hope. There is a new hope in the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's turn our Bibles to 1 John. 1 John chapter 3 and verse 8. 1 John chapter 3 verse 8. The Bible says, He that committed sin is of the devil. Why? You may say. For the devil sinned from the beginning. That is to say, Satan was the, or, or, I mean, was the root cause of sin. Like when I was praying over this something, and then the Holy Spirit ministered to me that he should look for the buruku But today, the, what the Lord told me, you know, it's a very funny subtitle. Chasing away the devil. You are going to literally chase away the devil from your lives. Amen. You are chasing away the enemy, wherever he's hiding. Wherever he's hiding, hear me, it has been written. It has been written. And what has been written cannot be changed. The devil cannot break it because it is a written word. It has been written in the book of Psalms 18, verses 44 to 45. It says, as soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. It says, the strangers shall submit themselves unto me. He says in verse 45, especially, I love it. He says, The stranger, you know, shall fade away. He said, With fear, they will run out of their close places. I love the Yoruba version. The Yoruba version says, Ayayo pa lejo. Wosifi berubojo, sajade, kuro ni be kolon fi won. I don't care wherever the enemy might have been hiding in your lives, in your situation, in your homes, in your businesses, in your body, in anything that pertains to you. You've been laboring, you've been struggling, in fact, maybe in your health, you've been to different hospitals, a lot of different diagnoses, a lot of things have been done, but the, the root of the problem could not be discovered. Hear me. The Lord is here. The Lord is in the house. The Bible says, as soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. The stranger, that strange spirit, the root cause of your trouble. You know, we hear the voice of the Lord. We hear the sound of the gospel. And it will submit them. I mean, it will submit itself. You know, by the grace of God. 
whoever is the representative of hell in your life that you know that represented hell you don't know many there are they pretended to be your friends but lo they are agents of the devil many they eat on your tables yet they are representative of hell some of them even wear your clothes some of them ride in your cars some of them they spend your money some of them they feed on your table yet they are agents of the devil but hear what the lord is saying this morning this day that shall be they shall be exposed and by the grace of god that they shall be disgraced out of your life in the mighty name of jesus no wonder the bible says there is a rest for the people of god your season of rest your season of of of, of oh my god oh the, the lord is saying your trouble is over your weeping is over in the mighty name of jesus christ the bible says there is a rest for the people of god you are god's people jesus died just for your sake that's why you are qualified for that rest there is a rest for you and your re your rest begins when now nah. hallelujah i say hallelujah that's why whoever whatever sin you might have committed i don't care whatever might have been your beginning whatever sin you even inherited listen to me there is a blood that cleanses away all sins that blood is flowing the, the blood is flowing at Calvary. Don't you know the blood of Jesus is different from every other blood? If it were the blood of an ordinary animal, by now it will have dried up and it will have been forgotten. You know, you remember when the blood of an ordinary man, you know, is shed, few minutes thereafter, the blood will begin to clot. But as for the blood of Jesus Christ, though it has been shed for over 2,000 years ago, it's still flowing. It's still flowing. It's still flowing. Not that alone. It cleanses from all sins. All sins. It cleanses from all sins. All sins. It cleanses from all sins. New sin. It cleanses from all sins. Hidden sin. It cleanses from all sins. That's what beginning from today. You are going to be free. I say you are going to be free because the word is what says. If the son shall therefore make you free. You shall be free indeed. There is liberty for you. I said liberty for you. There is freedom for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. From every trial. From every upheaval. From every trouble. From every sorrow. From every sickness. There is rest for you. Thank you Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you Lord. To you be the glory. There is rest for you this morning. I don't care. The sin you've been commit, you be committing, you remember, the other times you didn't want to commit that sin, but you, found, you had always found yourself committing it. Before you remember, before you could gather yourself again, but you will have committed it. But the Lord is saying today is your day. A day of your deliverance. A day of your forgiveness. Even including some of the sins you inherited. You remember, many of us inherited some bad habits from our parents. Unfortunately, many don't understand. They are even proud of it. They will say, ah, you see, that, that um, hard-heartedness, you know, I, I talk with Nagidi, you know, I, I, it's, I, it's a re the resemblance of my father, of my mother. You know, some will probably say that. They don't know that it is an evil that they inherited. But hear me, today, by the grace of God, you will be free. Yeah. I say that yoke will be broken because it has been written that at the name of Jesus Christ, every knee should bow. Unlike what the choir sang, I, I, I want the choir to please get it right. That song that says, His love, His love, Amen. He has risen from the dead, His love. Every knee should bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. 
check your Bible. What is written is that at the name of Jesus Christ, every knee should bow. Not may bow. The devil likes it or not. This day, the 17th day of the month of April, year 2022, every devil in your lives, in your families, in your businesses, in your job, in your health, in any area of your lives, every devil that has been traumatic, every trouble behind, every devil behind your trouble, they shall, they sh not tomorrow, not even next month, they should bow. So expect them to bow anytime from now. I can see you. You are receiving your liberty. You can see your sicknesses are fading away. I say your shame are disappearing. I say your fear is disappearing. Hallelujah. Please be seated. So that's why I encourage everyone who are you are wherever you are and whoever you are, I assure you one thing. There is mercy in the house for you. There is mercy for you. And that's why Jesus endured it all. That's why Jesus, you know, beard, you know, the pain, you know, the agony, all that he suffered on his way to Calvary. You remember the brutality. You remember, you know, the shedding of blood. And at the end, he was able to say, it is finished. They could not do any other thing again. He said, it is what? Finished. Your sorrow is finished. Your shame is finished. Your embarrassment is finished. In the name of Jesus Christ. So ladies and gentlemen, there may not be any man that can forgive your sin, but the Lord who forgives all sins is in the house. He's in the house. He's here. He says, call upon me in the day of trouble. And I will do what? Is here in the house. It will deliver you today from every known sin, from every sin that you have not been able. Oh, there is a scriptures. There's a scripture that comes to my mind. Please, before we pray, let's see uh, this Zechariah. He says, "As for thee also." By the blood of thy covenant, I have sent forth thy prisoners out of the pit wherein is no water. I don't care the horrible pit that you have been thrown into. I don't care what represents that horrible pit. No one could deliver you. But the great deliverer is in the house. For your reason, for your sake, is here. That's why you must take advantage of him. Because this is your hour. Yeah. This is your season. Yeah. Season of liberty. Yeah. And you will be the first recipient of blessings. Yeah. Of his forgiveness, of his mercy. Yeah. That's why to start with, I want to pray for you. Wherever you are, please, brethren, all eyes closed. If you don't mind, shall we rise up for prayer? Let's pray this prayer. Let's pray. This, let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. I want to pray for all my beloved friends. Wherever you are, you are saying, Pastor, please pray for me. Let all my sins be forgiven. Whatever sin, I don't care how, how grievous the sins are. You, you are saying, Pastor, please pray for me. All eyes closed, please. Thank you very much. Please, can we raise your hands to the Almighty God so that I can pray for you and bless you. Whatever sins that may be holding you, yeah, thank you very much. Thank you for those sins. Thank you very much. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Raise it very well to the Most High God. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh my God, I can see many people, even at the gallery. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Thank you, sister. Thank you, my God. Thank you. Thank you. If you don't mind, this is your day. This is your day. Can you step out? In, you know, in victory. Can you step out? Can you step out? Can you step forward here for the blessings? I want to pray for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All those who are raising up your hands, can you please step forward? Come quickly. I want to pray for you. By the mercies of the Lord, there is a reason why God brought you. Oh my God, there is a purpose for you to be free. Come quickly. Come quickly. Oh, the angels of the Lord are here. The angels of the Lord are here. With your forgiveness, with your miracles, with your blessings. Please God, please God, please God. There is place for you, there is place for you. Brother, please can you move forward, move forward.
forward. Maybe I should come in. Maybe I'll 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 come
you will never go back from the Lord anymore. Amen. The devil shall no longer triumph over you. Amen. Congratulations. Thank you, blessed Father. Thank you, Lord. For in Jesus' historic name we are praying. And amen. Hallelujah. You know what? Don't go yet. Listen to me. That the Adeboye did say, not that he, he, not that he, he sent, he, I heard him myself, that whoever decides to give his life to Christ as you are doing now, he made a promise. You know, he's a, a man of integrity. He said, I will pray for them every day. I want to go back. I came all the way from the camp. I came since yesterday, you know, by his grace that I could be thoroughly informed and be thoroughly equipped for you. I had the night in his presence. I'm going back to the camp after the service with the list of your names that you may begin to pray for you. That's why the miracles you didn't expect will begin to locate you. So please, we need your correct names and your correct addresses so that your miracles will not go to a wrong address. That's why, is there anybody who, are the who will help us to write their names? Okay. okay. They are to follow you. Okay, okay. They will give you some cards. I am happy they said they have even given you. But can you do me one favor? We want, I want a free flow of the anointing. Because it is really boiling in my heart. God wants to perform great miracles. Miracles such that you have never seen before. Particularly you believers. There is a miracle for you. Ocha, I mean, counselors, can we quickly do the listing where they are now? Outside. Promise me you will not, you will not take more than two, three minutes. Oh, five minutes. Are you sure? Okay. Please, brethren, follow them. Even if they want to take that five minutes. Oh, yeah, Mabo. <laughs> Tell them that the pastor said you should come after five minutes. If they don't answer you, please follow them. Follow them. God bless you. <laughs> eh? God is about to do. Hey, choir, you sang one song the other time. Let us rise up, please. Everybody, let us rise up. Let's go back. 
back to that scriptures in first John chapter 3, verse 8. First John chapter 3, verse 8. I read the first part to you when we started that he that committed sin is of the devil. For the devil sinned from the beginning. And I did say that is the root cause of all the sins, of all the evils, of all the calamities. But here the second part of it, which is the main demand, demand for your miracles. Hear it. It says, for this purpose, the Son of God was manifested. Not only to redeem us, like you saw our brethren redeemed in your koro koro eyes. That he, the Lord of hosts, the King of kings, the strong and the mighty God, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Hey! Ah. I now, in, my, in the spirit realm, I was now asking, Lord, how does this happen today? And the Lord assured me that encourage the people with their mouths to chase away the devil. Eh? <laughs> to chase away the... That's why every demon, I don't care the type of demon. I don't even care their names. I don't care their source or how long they have been. Remember, and the Lord, through the Holy Spirit, showed me several times that even Jesus Christ had to take that particular method. He chased away the devil. You remember how Jesus told Satan, "Get thee behind me, Satan." Let me show you some more, some of it. We are going to practicalize it. Because you must take your miracles with your hands. Yeah. I didn't hear your amen very well. Though. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Open your Bibles with me to Matthew chapter 11, verse 12. Matthew 11, 12. Look at what the word of God says. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence and the violence take it by force. you are taking your blessings by force Amen. by fire by force Amen. don't forget that I told you that even Jesus Christ himself he took to that method that we said he chased away every devil that was troubling him and that's why I told you also, you must chase away every devil that is troubling you. Turn your Bibles to Mark chapter 8, verse 33. Mark chapter 8, I read verse 33. But when he had turned about and looked on his disciples, he rebuked Peter, uh, he rebuked Peter saying, Get thee behind me. Who? Satan. For thou severest not the things that be of God, but the things that be of men. Can somebody say, Get thee behind me, Satan? In every form that you might have been oppressed, whatever troubles, whatever trauma, whatever pains, Whatever might be happening in your life, listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. You will know it that this man is called of God or not. As you will begin to pray, as you begin to command the devil, because it has been written that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. As you begin to command, they will begin to shake out. That's why you will look for your troubles and you will find them no more. I say you will look for your troubles, you will find them no more. Oh my, begin to get ready, begin to get ready, begin to get ready. Jesus constantly said that to the enemy. Luke chapter 4, verse 8. 
I'm sure you know that one already. Luke chapter 4 verse 8. Chapter 4 verse 8. Let's read it. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Get thee behind me. Who? Satan. He says, For it is written. Oh my God. I'm sure that it's a war written concerning your situation. If your own is healing, and the devil has been holding to your healing, you will tell the devil, Get thee behind me, Satan. For it is healing that by his stripes I am well. I am healed. Look at Jesus said, Get thee behind me, Satan. For it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. The Lord changed away the devil. Even when the devil couldn't come to Jesus personally, when the devil spoke through one of the disciples of Jesus, the Bible says Jesus looked at Peter and he recognized that it was not Peter. He rebuked the devil. He said, Get thee behind me, Satan. Ladies and gentlemen, hear this. Whatever trouble in your life, whatever trauma, the root cause of it is, is the devil. Is, I mean, the root cause of it is the devil. That's why you should not hate any of your brothers or sisters, your in-laws or whatever. No, the devil is only playing upon your intelligence so that you can begin to hate that other person, that you may be guilty against God and your command will become ineffective. But know it now that the devil is the root cause. That's why you are going to deal with the devil. Ladies and gentlemen, I told you that the Lord promised that these people, because I have been here to preach during your let's go fishing like this, you have always been coming in large number. And I thank God for your life that you didn't give up. You are here again today. The Lord must compensate you. The Lord promised that he's going to compensate you. That's why you must be ready for your miracles. You must be ready for your blessings. You must be ready. I release the anointing of the Lord to reach out to every other location of this of this uh, 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 province. Either at the, you know, uh, Pankroof area or at the satellite area, wherever they are holding. I command that the anointing of God will, 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 will reach them and will grant them their miracles in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us rise up. Let us rise up. Let us rise up. Let us rise up. Get ready for your miracle. Get ready for your miracle. Before it, lift up of hands and say, Father, receive the glory because my day of joy has come. My season of favor is come. My season of relief is come. Begin to give him the praise. Acknowledge him. Give him the glory. Return the glory to him. Return the honor to him. Give him the praise. Tell him that, Lord, I thank you because my day is come. My hour is come. Give him the glory. Give him the glory. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have given time. Now, number one, you will say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree every devil, every demon, every witch, every wizard, every member of the occult, behind my trouble, I address them. In the name of the Lord, I command them to get you behind me, to get out behind me, and be lost forever. Come on, go ahead and begin to pray. 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 Make sure your case to God. They have ears to hear. They have ears to hear. Yes. Be violent against them. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. You are not violent enough. 
you are trying. No doubt you are trying. But I have less than three minutes more. I beg, Sister Shola, you will give me, it may be up to five minutes so before I drop the mic. Everybody now, you got to become more aggressive. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Look away from anybody. You will address the enemy, you know, face to face. Head on collision with the enemy. Jesus is with you. And every, every demon, you know, when they hear you speak, it is not a word. It is the word of the Lord. You will say, Father, I command. Satan, get you behind me. In the name of Jesus. Come on, go ahead and begin to pray. Begin to pray. Get you behind me. All you demons of infirmity. All you demons of problems. All you demons of barrenness. All you demons of sicknesses. All you demons of delay. All you demons of poverty. All you demons of failure. Get thee behind me in the name of Jesus. Get thee behind me in the name of Jesus. Get thee behind me, ye Satan, ye foul spirits. Get thee behind me in the name of Jesus Christ. Get thee behind me. Get out of my home. Get out of my body. Get out of my business. Get out of my job. Get out of my marriage. Get out of, of everything that pertains to me. Your false spirits, get you behind me in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Almighty God. It is done. I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to bless you. And I encourage you, please, let your response be loud enough that heaven will hear you. We want to address every power and principalities that are behind your troubles. Today is their last day. Now is their last moment in your life. Father, in the name of Jesus, I say in the name of Jesus, every spirit behind the troubles of these men and women of God, in the hall here, in the halls below or outside, on the in the lives of everyone under the influence of the world including those listening to this message through any of the recording gadgets I command in the name that's above every other name by the authority of the word of God that says as soon as they hear of me they shall obey me That the strangers shall submit themselves unto me. It has been further written that the strangers shall fade away with fear, they will run out of their close places. All ye demons of infirmity, ye demons of barrenness, ye demons of delay. Marital delay, financial delay, academic delay. I command you, get out in the name of Jesus. From the lives of everyone here present, from the lives of everyone listening to this message, from all our lives, I decree in the name that's above every other name. Because it has been written that at the name of Jesus, Every knee should bow. Get you behind us, Satan, in the name of Jesus. I said, get out in the name of Jesus. 
will send all the demons into the sea of forgetfulness. Amen. We send them back to hell in the name of Jesus. Amen. I said they are gone forever in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you. The blessings, oh God, that are due to these men and women. No matter how many they are, Lord, you are the most high God. With God, all things are possible. All your blessings, all your blessings, all your miracles, whatever they are, no matter how big, no matter for how long it's been due, receive your miracles in the name of Jesus. I shall receive in the name of Jesus. I shall receive in the name of Jesus. Affliction shall not rise up the second time. You are free by the blood of Jesus Christ. You are free forever in the name of Jesus. I said you are free forever in the name of Jesus. Your testimony shall come shortly in the name of Jesus. I say it is done in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed, blessed, blessed be the name of the Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name I decree. begin to stretch our hands to our daddy Pastor Shola let us pray for him that as he has watered us that God himself will water him that as he has prayed for us God himself will pray for him God will meet him at every point of his needs as he has given everything himself pray for us genuinely from his heart Pray for him as well. Pray that God will meet him at every point of his needs. He will never fall. He will never falter. He will finish this race well. God will bless his home. God will bless his family. God will bless the work of his hands. God will meet him at every point of his needs. And it's as he has taken time to come here this morning just to bless us. Anything he lays his hands upon will prosper. It will extend to his children. It will extend to his generation. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Thank you, sir. Thank you so very much, sir. Wow. I don't know about you. But I am blessed. I am really blessed. If I when they asked me to come up, I was still shaky. And I pray that God will meet that at every point of his needs. Thank you very much, sir. The anointing over your life will never run dry. Thank you, sir. Thank you for coming, sir. Really do appreciate. It is time for our Thanksgiving offering. With the blessing we have received this morning. With the prayers and coupled with the fact that today is Easter Sunday. What better time and better day to say thank you. It is time to give our Thanksgiving offering. Please let us rise. Paraventure, you are listening to us online. I'm going to call the account number 
The offering account number is 1017-046320, Zenith Bank. I'll take it again. Zenith Bank account number 1017-046320. We encourage online giving here, but for adventure, you are here with your cash. There is a pouch in front of the seat where you are. There are different envelopes there. You have the welfare. You have the... You have the welfare, you have the offering. Just pick up the envelopes that is applicable to you and put in your cash. And as we come out dancing... Hallelujah. Hello. You just drop it as you come out dancing. Hallelujah. It is time to say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. I am particularly excited. I don't know about you. Somebody shout a big hallelujah. Come and see the Lord is good. Come and see the Lord is good. There is nothing you can know do. Come and see the Lord is good. Come and see the Lord. He's been so good. There is nothing. There is nothing you can do. Come and see the Lord is good. He gave me victory. He gave me peace of mind. There is nothing he cannot do. Come and see the Lord is good. Come and see the Lord. Oh. The Lord is good. He's good to me. Come and see the Lord is good. There is nothing. There is nothing he cannot do. Come and see the Lord is good. Your hands together to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Why 
Lord, we just say thank you. We worship your holy name. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration. Because you are awesome, you are mighty, because you are highly lifted up, there is no one else like you. Father Lord, you have risen. Baba God, you have risen. Let everything in our lives that needs to rise, let it rise today. In the mighty name of Jesus. And let everything that needs to die in our lives, let it die today. In the mighty name of Jesus. We are celebrating this season for a purpose. Let that purpose manifest in our lives. Let that purpose manifest in every situation of our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. Baba God, we say thank you. We thank you for the grace you've given upon us again to celebrate this year's Easter. We are not taking it for granted. We say thank you. We thank you, Lord, for life. We thank you, Lord, God, for good health. We thank you, Lord, God, for your protection. We thank you, Lord, God, for your sustenance. We thank you, Lord, God, for your security. We thank you, Lord, God, for being able to move our hands and legs. We thank you, Lord, God, for being able to dance, oh, Lord. We give you all the praise. May your name alone be glorified. In the mighty name of Jesus. Baba God, we cover the offerings with the blood of Jesus. We cover every source where these offerings has, came up, has come from. We cover them with the blood of Jesus. Baba God, we pray, Father, oh Lord, that this of rejoicing will never cease in our lives. All the blessings we have received today, let there be a great manifestation in every area of our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Praise the Lord. If you know you are truly blessed this morning, shout bigger hallelujah. hallelujah. If you know that you are happy to be part of this service, to be part of those that are celebrating the restoration of our Lord Jesus Christ, shout bigger hallelujah. It's time to pay our tithe. A tithe is the tenth of your income. And the Bible tells us that it is God's and it is holy. Your tithe is a command from God. Brethren, it is not just a command. It's a unique command that comes with lots of blessings. 
The Bible tells us what will happen when we pay our tithe. In Malachi chapter 3, verse 10 to uh, 12, the Bible tells us that when we pay our tithe, that God will open the windows of heaven and he will pour out a blessing that we will not have room enough to receive it. The Bible tells us that God will rebuke the devourer for our sakes so that it will not destroy the fruit of our ground. And the Bible also tells us that when we pay our tithe, that our vine will not cast their fruit before the time in the, sea, in the field. And that nations will call us blessed. Brethren, this is a unique opportunity for you to tap into this blessing. And as you do that this morning, you are going to experience this great and mighty blessings in the mighty name of Jesus. The account number to transfer your tithe to is uh, Zenith Bank, account number 1017-046337. Again, Zenith Bank, account number 1017-046337. And if you are in church and you have your tithe in cash, just look at the pouch at the back of the seat right in front of you. Pick the tight envelope and package your tight neatly. How shall we move, we pass our basket around, drop your tight in it, and as you do that, God is going to bless you in Jesus' name. Shall we rise to our feet as we take the aim?
Almighty God, we thank you for the privilege you have given to us to be among the living, to witness another celebration of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, accept our thanks in the mighty name of Jesus. Almighty God, we thank you for giving us the grace and the privilege to be obedient to your word, to bring all our tithes into your house. Father, we remind you of your word. Open the windows of heaven, O oh Lord, and pour out blessings that we not have enough room to receive in the mighty name of Jesus. Almighty God, we remind you of your word. Rebuke the devourer for our sakes in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, do not let our vine cast their fruit before the time in the field in the mighty name of Jesus. And in accordance with your word, O oh Lord, let all nations call us blessed and let us be a delightsome land as you have said in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Very quickly, we want to welcome a special set of people. And those are the people worshiping with us for the very first time. So if you are here in this service this morning, and it's your first time worshiping with us, may I ask that you please rise, and the rest of us, let's give them a very warm round of applause. Don't stop clapping, don't stop clapping, don't stop clapping, don't stop clapping. You are welcome in Jesus' name. It is my great privilege and honor to welcome you to RCCG, the Livegate Parish, also known as Covenant House. This is a place where God is building lives and fulfilling destinies. And our pastor knew that you'll be here, so he has a special welcome message for you. I want to ask that you please remain standing as I read that message to you. It says, welcome home. We've been waiting for you, it's true, because we believe that every person who comes into the circle of this special fellowship was sent by God himself. It is not by accident that we have to express Christ's love to you with genuine heartfelt warmth. We're eager to know you. We're excited to share with you the marvelous ways God is working in our church. And it won't take you long to discover that this is truly a family rich in the relationships that matter most. Growing together, we worship, we serve, we laugh, we cry, we learn, and we reach out to our world with life-transforming truth. We reach out to you as well. Our doors are open, our hearts are open too. If you have been thinking, praying, searching, and hoping for a place to belong, we say again, welcome home. Now, our ushers will put a welcome card in your hand. Please be sure to fill it with accurate information, and I assure you that someone will get in touch with you during the course of the week. And please don't be in a hurry to leave after the service. Our welcome team has a short and special reception for you as soon as the service ends. We're excited that you are here, and we pray that the blessings of being here today will be permanent in your lives in Jesus' name. God bless you. Let somebody who is excited to be in church on this glorious and wonderful day that we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, let him shout a big hallelujah. <laughs> if you know that you have been truly blessed on a glorious and wonderful day, that we have the privilege to share or for our, one of our assistant general members here to visit us and pray with us earlier in the day, let me hear you shout hallelujah. <laughs> we equally have the privilege that we have a pastor in charge of the province, Pastor Shola, Mrs. Balogun, and equally a member of the governing council, a member of the trustees of the RCCG to minister to us this morning, and I'm sure you'll be truly blessed. Let me hear you shout another hallelujah. <laughs> praise God. Praise, 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 and praise mighty Jesus. I wish you all happy Easter. No doubt we are looking well-dressed. We are looking beautiful. And my prayer for each and every one of us is that beyond your beauty, the beauty of the Most High God will radiate upon your life this day and beyond in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Let us listen to the following announcement before we bring the service to a close so that we can go all go home and enjoy our Easter. Um, immediately after the service, I want to encourage the first timers that uh, we have a special package waiting for you. So immediately after the service, please go down to level one where the first timers boulevard. Okay, please go down to the boulevard. If you don't know where the boulevard is, ask the ushers. They will direct you where our first timers team will be waiting to welcome you in the glorious and wonderful way, particularly on this glorious and wonderful day. I pray that truly and truly, you'll be surely blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. And the new hope, which is the new beginning, will start new things in your life today in the mighty name of Jesus. Equally, today is celebration of resurrection. The church has put in place a welfare uh, program. And uh, what is happening that during the course of welfare today, the welfare team will be giving out about 200 live chickens. And then we call it be giving out some food stuff. There are rice that will be packaged for you. But please and please and please, and I plead with you, um, unlike our usual, uh, or the usual practice, that people will not follow the uh, due process. I want to encourage you that there are welfare team who will be there to direct you, to guide you. Please kindly follow their rules and regulations so that, I mean, everything can go smoothly. And uh, I mean, it will be orderly. I pray that God bless you as you obey in the mighty name of Jesus. I say God bless you as you obey. We call it have a medical team on ground. So you want to check your BP, you want to check your sugar level. And probably there are some other things that probably needs attention to. We have the medical team. You can go to where we have the medical team set up. Go there and then of course they will see to your medical needs. And God himself will see to those medical needs in the mighty name of Jesus. I said, God will see to all our needs in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us stand up as we bring the service to a close. Let us all stand up. What shall we say unto the Lord? All we have to say is thank you, Lord. Shall we say unto the Lord? can we say on this glorious and wonderful day that our Lord rose up from the dead a thousand tongues is not enough to thank you our Lord but on this glorious and wonderful day Lord we just want to return honor and glory unto thy name so we are going to thank God for the salvation of our soul say Father Lord we thank you thank you Lord that we have the privilege Lord that we can be saved that we have been called as those that have been saved by our Lord and our Savior so, Father Lord, we thank you for the salvation of our soul. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for giving this glorious and wonderful service. Heavenly Father, we say thank you. Daddy, we bless your name. Thank you, Lord, for all that you have done in our midst today. Father Lord, we bless your name for the signs and wonders and for the miracles and for the word that came forth unto your people this morning. We say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. For those who were not around when our Father and the Lord, the Assistant General of Asia, Pastor J.F. Odeshola, was here to pray with us, he says two things about new hope. And one of the things he made us to understand is that for you to assess a new hope, a new beginning, and new blessings, he says there are two things that are involved. He talked about the password, and he called it talks about your pain. So he said for the password is by faith, and for your pain, you must ask. 
you are in the presence of the Most High God. This morning, ask what is pertinent to you in this season of resurrection. And as long as you believe, your faith is your password. And as you put your pin this morning, in the presence of demanding and asking of the Most High God, He will answer you. So I go to ask Him that in this new season, a new season of new hope, a new season of new beginning, that Father, do a new thing in my life. Father, a new thing that only you can do. Do it in my life. Do it in my life. Do it in my life. And that as I pray this morning, Lord, let heaven be open unto me. And every of my prayers, let them be answered in the mighty name of Jesus. Let them be answered in the mighty name of Jesus. Let them be answered in the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. On the third day when they came looking for him, they were told that Jesus Christ that you're looking for is no more here. So you are going to pray because what that means is that the enemies are going to come looking for you. In that place of sickness, they will not find you. In that place of poverty, they will not find you. In that place of barrenness, they will not find you. In that place of joblessness, they will not find you. In that place of waiting, they will come looking and discover that God has given you a new life. So you are going to pray. Say, Father, Father, as the enemy comes looking for me today, Lord, they will not find me in the old place, but in the new place. That's where they will find me, in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything that represents all places in your life, the enemies, as they come today, they will not find you there. He talks about new hope. It, marks, it talks about new beginning. That today, Father, let the power of resurrection, Lord, let him bring him be forth. Lord, out of the old places that I've, I've, I've been before, Father, Lord, let the power of resurrection bring me forth, Lord, out of the old places that I've been, and bring me into the new place, the new place that you have called me to be, in the name of Jesus. Bring me forth into the new place that you have called me to be, in the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. It's our of ages, Lord, we just want to thank and appreciate you. Thank you, Lord, for the grace and the privilege to be alive to see this glorious and wonderful day. We thank you, Lord, because it's by your mercy that we are not consumed. We thank you, Lord, because it's by your grace and mercy that we can experience another season of Easter in our lives. Eternal confidence will return honor and glory unto thy name this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray concerning your children this morning that as they go this morning, Lord, let them go with a new hope in the name of Jesus. Let them go with a new beginning in the name of Jesus. Father, let them go with your power in the name of Jesus. Let them go in your might in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your presence continually abide with them in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in every area of their life, Lord, let it mark a new beginning. Let the power of salvation mark a new beginning in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare and declare upon your life that it shall be well with your going out and your coming in the name of Jesus. That in this season, whatever you lay your hand on, the Lord shall prosper it. The Lord shall bless it in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, all things shall pass away. or All things concerning you shall become new in the name of Jesus. Your job shall become new. Your children shall become new. Your work shall become new. Everything you lay your hand to, it shall become new in the mighty name of Jesus. It shall be a new season of celebrations upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus. The glory of God shall continually shine upon your life and manifest upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus. It is well with you. It is well with everything that concerns you. In the name of God the Father, the name of God the Son, and the name of God the Holy Spirit. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Let somebody that has been truly blessed this morning shout another hallelujah. God bless you all. Go in peace. And the Lord be with you in the mighty name of Jesus.